And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Scape Shift. This is a donation deck, which the two Ds next to the decks over here means they're donation decks that uh, a viewer submitted and um, ones that I didn't put together. And I think the, the person that, said, that donated for this said that this was a, a Sam Black deck, um, but it looks pretty cool. We have, we have just the deck that's really focused on lands. Like, our, our lands are just everything about this deck. We have 30 lands in here, including four Field of the Dead, which is going to be our, our main win con, but 30 total lands. We have the Commune with Dinosaurs that just are going to be basically four more uh, look at the top five cards and put a land into your hand. So, like, that's like 34 right there. We got the Grazers to play some extra lands. Rejuvenator gets some extra lands into play. Circuitous Route get some basic lands or gates, put them into play. So we were just trying to put lots of lands into play. Um, Golos, same kind of thing. Golos, we're, we, we don't have the ability to activate Golos here. We don't have a white and a black land. Um, but it's really just, it's just the search your library for any land. So like go grab a Field of the Dead, or if we need a Field of Ruin or Arch of Orozco or Blast Zone or anything like that, a Plaza of Harmony if we need to gain, gain some life. Um, you know, it's just a, a tutor for a land, put them into play. And of course we're ramping up and then we're going to escape shift, try to get a whole lot of zombies with field of the dead. Backup plans are hydroid crisis. Uh, can, you know, yeah, you know, hydroid crisis, bane fire that can finish people off for one shot. Uh, if, if that happens, that's like the backup backup plan. And we also have mending of the mending of Zominaria. Um, so it's, it's put two cards from your library in your graveyard, then return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. You do that twice, and the third time you put all lands from your graveyard onto the battlefield. So if we are sacrificing a whole bunch of lands to escape shift, we can get them all back with Mending of Dominaria. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is our deck. This looks pretty sweet. Um, yeah, the Communal Dinosaurs could find the Ceratops in our sideboard also, so that's kind of cool. We have Bombards in the sideboard, which is not a card that I've really seen in Standard before, but... So I was trying to think, like, why would we have Bombard instead of, like, Lava Coil? Um, and I guess the instant speed being able to take out... I guess, like, the importance here is against the, the blue-green flash deck, how they flash in Night Pack Ambusher on your uh, end step, and then they'll, then they'll untap and have Counter Magic for it. So I guess we need the the instant speed for damage for um, the Night Pack Ambusher. That's the biggest reason why I can see playing this over Lightning Strike and Lava, Lava Coil. But there we go. That's our deck, Team Escape Shift. Let's give this a try. So with all of our donation decks, what we like to do is send on over to the traditional constructed queue and play until we win five or lose two, whichever comes first. All right, so let's give this a, give us a try. Is MTG bot not working? I don't see MTG bought up. All right, a whole lot of lands. That's probably what we want. I don't know. I'm going to have to be looking at the deck list here while I play this with all these one ofs with the lands and everything and figure out like how we're going to evolving wilds and everything. As far as like mana symbols in our deck, Krasis is the only blue symbol like in the main deck. So if we have a blue land, we're, we're good there. Double green is scape shift and mending a dominaria, and the only red symbol is bane fire. So like we, we really don't need very much. Like as long as we have a green, we're kind of good to go. Um, our basic count is three one one. Let's go with the grazer, and then put the temple into play. Yeah, Golos is cool. I guess we were just really supposed to be digging for escape shift, you know, looking for that. Okay, let's see. So Field of the Dead's a tap land, Evolving Wilds is a tap land. Let's start with Commune. Alright, th those are three good spells that we want. 
We'll get the gain life land. But I'm going to go ahead and Evolving Wilds and shuffle those three spells back into the deck. I don't want those at the bottom. Yeah, Matado. I can I can just take a look at it here on while well, playing just a little bit if you'd like. Um, if there's anything in particular that you're wondering about with... Oh, I should... So I should get an island or I guess... Yeah, because I'm supposed to just get different named lands here at these Field of the Deads, aren't I? So I, sh I should just get the island or the mountain. Yeah, just realized that. <laughs> what if you name your forest George? It's a different name. Okay. So I can get any land out. Hmm. So no gates for Plaza of Harmony. I guess I'm supposed to get a Blast Zone, because Blast Zone can kill these those three creatures. Man, if I would have just got an island or a or a mountain with this forest. So I'm going to has a different name than Forest. I guess if I just don't cast Communion with Dino... Okay, so... <laughs> just kind of, you know, like... This is the kind of... This is... This kind of happens, like, first time playing a deck. If I don't cast the Commune with... Commune... I would have had two mana, so I could have played the Blast Zone, and then with the two mana, this turn I could have put the Charge Counter on the Blast Zone to be able to kill this Steamkin. Next turn. I'm going to need something that ramps me, though. Or... It's fine. No! No! Ley Lion shut me down. Otherwise, I was going to be able to flip the compass and do the Spires of Orozco on the Steamkin. Hmm. Yeah, quite a few little decisions there. There's two, two, two decisions that I made that definitely hurt me. I can't I can't make a zombie. Cause I I did I grabbed the second forest way earlier. Yeah, they have to they have to all be different names. And playing compass doesn't really doesn't it doesn't count as entering whenever the compass flips into the other land. It doesn't count as entering, it doesn't make a zombie. All right, I don't think that mono red 
Let's see. Definitely want Flame Sweep and Bombard. Don't know if this is like a Banefire matchup. Is is Banefire just better than Bombard though? It's possible. I think we take out Compass. One mending. I guess I just trim commune with dinosaurs then too. Let me get this mending back in. No, we don't need mending. Do I want compass? No. All right, we're gonna keep it like this. Let's try this. Um, no. So like the reason why there's been bard in here instead of fight with fire is because of night pack ambusher, being like you have to hit night pack ambusher on end step whenever they play it. So you, you need the instant. At least that's that's my assumption when seeing it. All right, so should I pay two life to get this grazer in here? Yeah. Uh, that lets me put this into play tap next turn and commune plus grazer. Yeah. Hey, we saved we saved one life, or we took. We took one extra life. Not, not much. Circuitous route. All right, so I'm going to just put a counter on the blast zone here and use the evolving wilds. And I guess I should go get the mountain, not the forest, with the Evolving Wilds, because there's three forests in the deck, so there's a lot better chance that we draw... F like, if I take the forest, there's still two other forests, so there's a good chance that we draw a forest for the same name to land. Yes, Evolving Wilds is a is a good land just to have on the battlefield also and not sacrifice. Like, you know, not actually use the ability, but then just sacrifice it to Scape Shift. Sure. 
Then we'll have we'll have Krasis. Of course, I, I want to blow up the Blast Zone before playing the Krasis, because the Krasis has CMC2. So we'll have the Krasis next turn. I have my own playlist that I made. You can find it here. Scry. Looking for escape shift. Mending of Dominaria. Sure. It's a lot better than drawing a land, I suppose. Get all these evolving wilds back. And just have the evolving wilds be able to chill out there. This is Bombard. Deal four damage to target creature. Three mana instant. Lil Chandra and Frenzy. All right, so they're going to start. They found their things now. So, Man, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, I have 9 mana for next turn because the Evolving Wilds doesn't really count. We're going we're gonna to kill our Krasis. We can put we're gonna put the crisis in the graveyard so we get it back with the mending of Dominaria. I guess we just sacrifice this thing. Hey, Salvin, Dex looking okay. I I didn't play... I made a couple of, of mistakes the first game, you know, playing it the first game there. I made a couple of mistakes. All right, we only have one gate. We don't have two gates. So I won't play the plaza yet. All right, so next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six lands come back in. So we'll get six zombies. And so I, I probably should flame sweep before we get all the zombies. So I'll, good thing this is an instant, so I'll do that uh, before this Mending of Dominaria trigger. I assume I'll be able to respond to that at least. Maybe I need to put an upkeep stop just in case. Hey, Dirk.
I completely forgot about this Leyline Combustion out there when I was thinking about the Bombard earlier of like maybe killing something. Completely forgot about that. Maybe they'll firebrand their own Vyoshino Pyromancer. Okay, yeah. No. Difference between the blue and the red? It's probably like whose turn it is. Like red is your turn, blue is opponent's turn. That'd be my guess. Yeah, so the Evolving Wilds were like all lands that we put into the into the uh, graveyard, and so they all came back with many of Dom Dominaria, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I still don't have two gates, though. So I don't actually gain life with this. So I don't, I don't really see a reason to play this plaza. We just gotta hope they don't have nine points of burn here. Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinaire. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah, we can fetch out our last force to make another zombie. I can put three counters on the splash zone to be able to blow it up and be able to blow up these things. Hey Nova Mage. Yeah, I like to think on my feet. But you're sitting cross legged. All right, so that game was pretty cool. The ending of Dominario was sweet. Oh, well, you're welcome, Lady Fire. Glad that you're really enjoying the stream. And yeah, welcome to the stream, Lady Wildfire. Yeah, it's it's not. Yeah, I definitely think the Plaza Harmony is worth it, even when you have the two gates in your deck, because um, because when you have Scape Shift, you can easily. It's not hard to just like go grab the, your two gates and then have your Plaza of Harmony and gain life. Our deck's certainly slow, so that life gain can be pretty pretty valuable. Commune with dinosaurs because it fa it finds lands, so it's it's one mana. Look at your top five cards. Put a land in your hand. This deck's all about the lands. There's 30 lands in here. Oh. All about those lands. Hmm. I wish we didn't have two Evolving Wilds to go with this basic forest. I'm not going to use the temple yet. It doesn't really matter what I draw this next turn. I'm going to get a land out of the deck.
They probably shouldn't be attacking with the Firebrand here. I had a very telegraphed Flame Sweep. But I just had to see if they had, like, another War Boss. You wanna go, tough guy? What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning! Alright, well now we're at the point where we would really like to draw a spell. Let's go ahead and go with this temple. Darn. <clears throat> that makes that light up the stage only cost one. Perfect. All right, I guess we're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear you saying good game. Because that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But they don't have that much mana. They, they have to have a shock for their last card. Or they don't have a shock. Oh, are they just saying because of Chandra? Oh my gosh. Yeah, trying to survive Chandra is going to be kind of tough. We go 3-3, three, three. so we need a, because even a gate, we gain one, gain one life for three, gain, go to six. Yeah, no, I can't survive the Chandra ultimate. All right, well, game number one, made some mistakes there. Um, liked how I played games two and game three. Game three, after keeping the six, you know, we kept, I kept a six lander game three. I don't really regret it because we had the flame sweep, which is such a, a vital card. But, you know, not drawing a spell until turn five. Would have preferred drawing a spell before that. But, oh well. But game one, I, I made some mistakes, you know, first time playing the deck. Made two little small, small mistakes, but ones I want to make again. It does, it would be kind of nice to have another gate. <laughs> That's what it really felt like. But that's also a great hand they had there, that, that game three, because they had one drop, two drop, uh, three drop with the war boss, four drop with the Chandra. And, you know, the Chandra ultimates to beat me. All right, cool. First time we've seen Scape Shift in four games. That's a good card. <laughs> no, once again, no words of sacrifice because we just played that. Um, we just played that yesterday, so I don't, I don't normally play decks back to back too much. I like playing a really wide variety of decks. Hmm. I don't really want them to counter my Thaumatic Compass. Oh well.
<laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess whenever I get donation decks, those I'll play. Let's slow this down. Here we go. We have two more basics. That's more like it. I wonder if they're playing basic swamp. It's possible they're not. They likely are, but who knows? Ah, oh, no basic. Well then, let's have the basics in their hand. I've got time. And there it is. Unfortunately, I don't have another basic to fetch out with the Thalmatic Compass. So I am getting the Evolving Wilds here um, because I, I want to sacrifice Evolving Wilds to the Scape Shift. I think it's a very good land to sacrifice because it doesn't do anything. I know my responsibility. Let's skip to the good part. Don't worry, I got this. Well darn, I was gonna be playing the scape shift here. Our deck isn't very exciting. I can say that. Last game we drew two non-lands. This game we've drawn four non-lands. Keep up the pace. I 
but half of our deck are lands, so it's still it's still not likely to see only four non-lands and all these cards. And it's you know should kind of be like 50-50. So one, two, three. I can only do three right now. <laughs> Rise and shine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are getting a little hurt that I took the Evolving Wilds instead of the Gate because if we would have been able to draw another card here if that was a Gate. Uh, we would have been able to put another counter on the Blast Zone so it would be at 5 instead of 4. So the fact that I did take the Evolving Wilds for the Scape Shift hurt me in those two spots there. Hey, Sero. No time for a break. I think that's seven. This looks like a fun new toy. Doesn't look good. Trust me, I have a plan. So I need to put need to put a counter on the blast zone. So I do have one mana I can use. I don't really know how I'm dealing with this Liliana and the Bola Citadel yet. It's just trying to go wide here. Hey, Balder. Happy Friday. I'm going to have the Blast Zone blow up the Teferi. I guess it's going to blow up my Mending of Dominaria, too, though. Hold that thought. Bleh. Otherwise, the Teferi ultimates. No, I am not making this up as I go. We really don't have answers to these planeswalkers <laughs> in this deck. Rise. <laughs> 
Yeah, Espa's pretty good. Their one... Of course, they have, like, the one thought erasure right on the exact turn that I was about to scape shift. <laughs> That's how it goes. But then, yeah, when turn five to fairy, turn four Liliana. Turn five to fairy plus the thought erasure, obviously, and then Liliana. It's tough. against many foes like you. Home your prowess. But my decision to grab the Evolving Wilds instead of the, the gate has hurt us so many times. So basically what we have right now is we could, we can draw our Banefire. And it looks like they're going to be dead to Banefire if we draw Banefire. Obviously we have to get very lucky. There's only one Banefire in here. But if we draw Banefire, we can kill him. So... Bane fire off the top. It's 35 cards, but we know it's not any of the bottom four, so 31. So 1 in 31 chance. It's basically roulette. Calling a Bane fire. Red on red. Here we go. Darn. That's not it. Liliana ultimate kills us. I don't really want Compass or Grazer. But the thing is, I don't really want any of these other cards. I guess I'm playing Ceratops, I guess. I don't think Ceratops is really that good here, but I guess it's better than anything else. I think Ceratops is better than Cinder Vines. So there we go. We'll just take out the Grazers and the... Basically, the only non-lands that we had there, Thaumatic, Compass, and Grazer. We'll take those out. And... There we go. More Kitty. Okay. Uh, he's he's lying up on the bed right now. He's just curled up. He'll be on later. But he's taking his afternoon nap. Just had his lunch right before I started streaming here. <laughs> Card Kingdom has a total of 547 goat creature tokens, and I have them all under hold under my name. Am I crazy? Well... You have, you're crazy just to have them all on hold under your name. Either buy them or let other people buy them. Because that's a sought-after commodity right there. Goat creature tokens. Hey, Rad.
Alright, play first. Alright, we're gonna get the F6 value in here. Oh, you're buying them tomorrow? Well, enjoy them. So even though Field of the Dead is not a different name for us, still going to grab it. Hmm. This is kind of annoying. I, I really want to Circuitous Route, but I don't want them to counter my Circuitous Route. I guess I could wait a turn. Sweet. All right, you did. All right, so we have five different names for our lands. So two more lands, and then each land will be making a set, making three two twos. Deacon with the big time cheers. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Deacon. Bring in the hive. Thank you so much. That's <laughs> for the cat. I'll, I can see if he comes on over. I don't know. He's in the, the other room over here. Okay. Okay. Ugh, he got up. He's looking at me. We'll see if he comes on over. Um... Let's get this thing going. Hey, okay. Hey there. Come here. Did you have a good nap? Ugh. He, he's such a good kitty. He's in the other room. He just calls me, comes on over. He's a good kitty. So I want to Krasis for six. I want to draw an untapped green source. I could just double Rejuvenator here, though. I guess I should double Rejuvenator first. It means we just get back bigger. All right, we have we do have both of our gates, so we can gain three life with the Plaza. We can get the Arch to be able to draw cards. Don't gain three life or have the arch to draw cards. I'll probably just gain three life. Ooh. 
we got the crazes, they'll draw us a lot of cards. There you go, Deacon. Okay, see here. Yeah, Elvish Rejuvenator we thought is oh that's a little weak. Three mana one one, sure you get to ramp, you put a land into play. Well how about three mana you ramp, but you get a one one and three two twos? It's only not so weak anymore. I only have three lands in the graveyard right now, as far as mending of Dominaria is concerned. The past, present, and future are bound by threads of time. And we're definitely gonna have to take out this Narset before we play a Krasis. Open mind. That's a lot of a lot of zombies. Nine? I'll take it. Alright, let's see. So combat. You and you deal with that thing. You, 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 and you start dealing with that thing. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. Darn. Didn't really want to see a basic. Because we have the evolving wilds. We got two more basics though. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So crisis for eight. Just better leave a green source up. Alright, good. There is one there's one Golos in here, yeah. See the thing if they Kaya's Wrath, they're dead. I can make I can make eighteen power. Right? Oh no, it's only wait see, two four Two, four, six. No, I can only make 12 power. Never mind. I can only make 12 power on their end step. We can't cast any instance with Teferi in play, so we'll just cast this right now. Trust me. You'll thank me later. This might be a bad idea. Really hope they don't have Cry of the Carnarium. That's like that's the only card they can have here that saves them. Like, do I even need to be doing this? Let's see. I guess I don't even need to be doing this, do I? All right. Well, I'm not not gonna attack the other one. Hey, Diedrich. GGs. Hopefully no cry of the carnarium. Oh, 
That was weird how they... That was kind of weird how they did that. But they're just letting me kill Lyra. Yeah, I don't think that's how they're supposed to do that. We'll see if we get to game number three. Uh, I'm not loving our chances here, Hawkeye. Against Cry the Carnarium and Lyra and stuff. We had a very good hand there that game. We were on the play. I don't know if our hands get much better than what we just had there. And they had a really slow hand. No, like, Thought Erasure or anything. Their first, their first play was Elite Guard Mage on turn four. Hey Dan. So we'll see how we'll see how this one goes. Chapstick. Teaching Hawkeye to put on chapstick. It's not doing a very good job of it. No, I'm just kidding, Hawkeye. You're you're the best. You're doing a great job. Pepsi. You're going to have to move forward a little bit. Thank you. All right, we're going to need to draw lands, but our deck has 30 lands, so that shouldn't be, shouldn't be like we're asking too much to draw lands. Yeah, Gideon Blackblade is good against Esper because their removal doesn't interact with it very well. It dodges to Spark. Um, the Teferi, like, three-man Teferi doesn't bounce it. Um, you know, it doesn't die to Tyrant Scorn, even though they can bounce it with Tyrant Scorn, but that's it. There. Any, add one man that any gate could produce. I guess all these evolving wilds are really good with with mending of dominaria, so I guess we'll just keep keep grabbing them. We're gonna need two green sources. I'm gonna hopefully scape shift away a lot of lands, and so getting lands with the same name doesn't matter. Hopefully. This time they have a lot better hand. They have their most aggressive start. So basic mountain 
is not the ideal land, Let's but it's an untapped this. land, so I'm going to keep it because untapped land means we get to cast Mending of Dominaria. We missed a land drop. It's unfortunate. No, I don't play Paper Magic anymore. So we're going to go with the 3-3 three, three Krasis and try to have the Krasis kill this Teferi. So that we can actually have Veil of Summer unlocked. Because, of course, right now we can't play instance with, with the Teferi out there. Yeah, we were we ended up 5-0 Harar with the, oh, I've done the, hero with the Orzhov deck. Those are pretty sweet. Ugh. That's also unfortunate. Hey, there we go. Um, let's get this in play first. Why didn't they attack? Yeah, historic mode, I'm... I wish that there was more sets added to Historic Mode, but I'll certainly be playing it. Um, it. No, I don't. I like Limited, Rad. I think Limited's a lot of fun to play, but I've every time I've played Limited in the past, I've had a lot less viewers. Understandably, too. I, I don't think Limited is as good to watch as well, and so I don't. I don't play Limited on stream, and. For now, how much I play Magic on stream and everything, I basically just don't really play Limited anymore. Don't get to. Yeah, we beat Esper with the black-white deck yesterday. It was a pretty good match. <laughs> yeah, Dredge. We're, we're having Dredge is the headliner tonight. Gotta wait a little bit for it. Uh, you should definitely check out the the YouTube channel for the for that Orzhov sacrifice deck that we played last night. It was really sweet. Well, last game we've had we had about our best hand that we could. This game, our opponent's hand was awesome. I guess I could just cycle the Veil of Summer right now. Let's just do that. <laughs> I 
Oh, I could have attacked with that thing. They had a bunch of creatures to block it, though. They're probably, they probably don't have their fourth Thought Erasure, so I think I'm, I'm just going to wait on the Ceratops for next turn. I don't think they'll have their fourth one. But you never know. Nice. Okay. Cavalier Knight being an MVP for your Golgari Dreadhorde deck. I could see that. Cavalier Knight is sweet. We had a did some cool stuff with it yesterday with that Orzhov Sacrifice decks. I'll protect you. Wait. Why couldn't I react to this hero attacking? Did I... What was going on? Did I click? What happened? This is hardly my worst defeat. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I guess I just sacrifice all these. Seven, eight. All right, so eight lands. So if I'm getting eight lands, I can get two of these and then six others with different names. So one, two, three, four, five. And of course, I'm just going to keep the Central and Harbor in in my hand because they're. We'll just use a sweeper. Which I guess I, I just shouldn't have played the Ceratops either. New to the deck still. I guess if their sweepers cry out of Carnarium, though, that doesn't kill Ceratops, so they have to have Kaya's Wrath. We've seen them have Cry the Carnarium. We haven't seen them have Kaya's Wrath yet. Yeah. Ceratops still good. They didn't play lands for a long time in this game, so they should just have all spells in hand. So I wonder what they got. They have like Big Teferi, maybe? Ah, Citadel. Well, Citadel's not a very good one to have here, having to pay life for stuff. Yeah, that's... I think we're going to win this game. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Say that's uh, one, two. <laughs> oh, maybe we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turns out taking all the lands out of your deck, you just top deck good stuff. Okay, never mind. I guess we still have a lot of lands. Uh, let's play you.
<laughs> yeah, this has been just foot in mouth the last few turns. I was like, oh, well, they're really desperate. They're playing Citadel. We're probably going to win. Top card, Kaya's Wrath. Oh, maybe not. And then we draw Krasis. I'm like, oh, yeah, we took all the lands out of our decks. So we're only going to draw good things. Like four lands. Okay, I guess we didn't take all of the lands out of the deck. <laughs> Yeah, just every every statement that the top of the deck is like, you sure about that? <laughs> I'm liking these evolving wilds though. They've been they've been pretty awesome. How we get to just get more zombies, instant speed. Wow. I am not going to sit this one out. You are paying five life to play that to ferry off the top. Wow. That is a bold strategy, I must say. You need to take a time out. I mean, I guess if you're desperate, I guess five life is better than what that crisis was going to hit for. What is going on? I clicked the button to go to main phase, didn't I? It just didn't even let me activate my evolving wilds. It's like what happened earlier. What is going on? Why can't I activate evolving wilds? So rude. Yeah, I guess we could kill Teferi, put them back up to seven. For the Citadel. We were just going to have lethal here. We could have activated Evolving Wilds. Yeah, let's put a stop here on this end step. Good call. You just let me know if you're up for round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven mana. Let's do eight. We'll leave one green up in case we draw Veil of Summer. That's a Veil of Summer. And very glad we didn't draw the other, the last basics. I think we have one basic land left. I think we have one forest. Yeah, we have we have one forest left in the deck. So very glad we didn't, didn't do that. Hey, Gustavo, doing good. Trust me. Paid five life Thank again later. for that thing. All right, we should be good this time. I don't see them getting getting out of it this time. Just four mana from here. Yeah, we should have this one covered. Unless we... Unless we draw the basic forest off the Veil of Summer... And then they have Kaya's Wrath. That's that's like their only way. If we draw a basic forest here, good. And then them have Kai because <clears throat> still want to wait because I don't want like Cry the Carnarium to get all, all of my two twos kind of thing. So I want to wait on the Evolving Wilds. So I'm risking it there. And what a crazy match this was. So many twists and turns, unexpected events. 
But yeah, this is now over. I think. I think it's over. Four, six, yeah. Yep. Hooray! Yeah, our blast zone was at three, so it only killed the Othakai. I didn't kill anything else. Alright, one and one. Alright, let's let's reset arena. This has been acting super laggy let's do a reset veil doesn't mean your creatures don't get blocked by blue and black stuff like they're they still get to block playing playing veil that very last turn we're attacking didn't do anything Yeah, winning versus Esper does feel pretty good. Esper never gives you easy ones. Try also resetting your your arena flamingos. That's usually the best thing to do whenever your Whenever you, Arena gets laggy, just exit, reset, usually helps clear it up a little bit. So yeah, just keeping a whole lot of lands in escape shift. See what happens. Take our chances. I think I want to save the Arch of Arazka if I can. I don't think I want to sacrifice Arch of Arazka to escape shift. Oh, they just passed turn? Alright, well, I didn't use Evolving Wilds again. I guess we can kind of see what the bottom of our library looks like, and if we want to use Evolving Wilds. Yeah, I think I'd want to draw these cards. So yeah, we should probably use Evolving Wilds. And I'll just do it now before I mess it up again somehow. We have about the same amount of mana. It's pretty close. Yeah, 
Yeah, Emmanuel, the, the deck list came out. Oh, is it? Oh, is not the right deck list? I thought I did update that. Okay, there you go. That's the right deck list. Um... I'm not going to be sacrificing this Evolving Wilds. I'm going to just leave it there for Scape Shift. Which I guess I should have I should have played the Breeding Pool. I just realized I only have one green source. I should have played the Breeding Pool first. Whoops. Alright. So now the command's updated. Sorry, my bad. Thankfully, we're ahead by quite a way, so hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt us. That the fact that I'm going to be paying two life here when I didn't need to. I think I'm off the bombard. I brought those in last time. I don't know if I want those. I think I, maybe we just want the flame sweeps. Flame sweep in, two compass, and a commune out. Let's do that. Yeah, I could I could sack evolving wilds and get a forest. I could have done that. Um I wanted just to sacrifice the the evolving wilds as it was and leave the forest in the deck though for other cards like uh Circuitous Route and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I could I could have done that. Maybe I should have. Um, okay, cool. I wanted to go turn to Rejuvenator. Yes, yeah, so this looks like with the Scourge Spitter, that's what I thought, and now with the 10th Street Dodger, definitely looks like the uh, the enchantment version, like Calamity or something. The Calamity version of Mono Reds. That's why I just want the Flame Sweeps and not the Bombards. Cavalcade. Cavalcade of Calamity. Let's get this forest out here. So do we want to gain a life or scry one? I don't think we really need to scry into anything. Let's gain this life. This is like our perfect hand so far. A turn two reju rejuvenator hitting a gain life land. Plus, it's good to have. It's. I don't want to take the gates, of course, because we want to be able to. We want to leave both gates in our decks. We want to go gate, gate, um, and then and the gain three life card. Yud, eight month. 
Thank you so much, Yud. You are absolutely amazing. Our first sub of the day there. Yud, of course, is responsible for all the absolutely amazing thumbnails that we have for the YouTube channel. So thank you so much, Yud. And that could be a problem. Um, do I want to do like a mini scape shift? Probably not. Let's do this thing. Yeah, Spitfire costs a little bit of mana. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you for not shocking me. I forgot that spitter was going to do that. Kinda need like something to cast. It's not just scape shift. Not over yet. That scry doesn't matter. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep those two lands. So we're only getting six lands. We need we need five different ones. We get one field of dead, and then we need five others. So let's get two gain three life. Oh wait, no, no. We need five others. So one gain three. Gate, gate. Um, temple. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess a, I guess the arch, sure. <laughs> Not a card I want right now. Yeah, we have one Golos in here. Yeah, I could see the Cavaliers having Titan Cycle potential. I mean, they're not... I mean, I guess not that... Not quite like that, but like Titan and stan Titans and Standard potential. Not like Titans for other formats um, kind of thing. But yeah, that's 
It's one of the best cycles we've had since the Titans, that's for sure. Hey, LaPounce. Welcome to the channel. We do not have a white or a black source for Golos here, so we're not we're not really activating Golos. Um, and I, I don't think like this deck really wants to activate Golos because Golos does just exile the cards for good. So if you exile, you know, like two or three lands that are important, you may not really get to to play them too much or anything, something like that. All right, let's do some blocking. All right, so this thing, Grazer having reach is obviously very important. Got to block that thing. Uh, you block there, you block there, you block there. All right. They realized that I, that I realized that it had reach. All right, we're two and one. Yeah, bring it bring a dredge back. We're gonna have that at the end of the day today for our our last deck. Yeah, I do sandbox. Yeah, I play a good amount of ranked. Donation decks I don't. Donation decks either donation deck or like new brew that I'm just testing out. Those I play in the traditional constructed queue. Uh, besides that I, I play ranked. And yeah, this is a donation deck here. And we got two more donation decks later on tonight. I'm just gonna get multiple forests here because I wanted to sac I want to sacrifice the forests. Um, yeah, I, I bet, so the question is, do you think Band Arcbo still works in the metagame? I bet it probably needs to be tuned some more for, from the last time I played it. It needs to be updated and stuff, but I think there are certainly, um, the tools for the deck to be successful. One, two, three, four, five, six. I keep this Arch of Araska. So we could only get one Field of the Dead if we want to make zombies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Makes a 2 2. It's another land for Archer Veraska. Yeah, you can find the the decks here. All, all the decks for today should be up, as far as I know.
Yeah, I think... <clears throat> so we can either charge Blast Zone or activate Archer Araska. And yeah, I think charging Blast Zone could be a good thing to do. Let's see what we got on top. That card's great. That card's great. Alright, so I don't want to activate Evolving Wilds. So I guess it's Blast Zone time. Well, let's see. I'm casting Mending next turn. So I cannot cast Mending and activate Blast Zone. I guess I don't have to actually cast blo Mending next turn, because they could just counter stuff. Sweet. So I guess, yeah, I guess the safer play is just... I'm always looking for, like, the more value and everything, but, you know, looking at the board, looking at their life total, the better play is just charge the blast zone, get the, you know, do the whole blast zone thing, kill them. Okay, so this is why we have Bombards in our deck, because they're instant, and they can kill the Wolf, instant speed. Compass. Hmm. So what are we... How are we sideboarding? If we're going to go have Veil, Veil, Ceratops, Bombard, that's nine cards. That's a lot of cards. Maybe I'm just taking out Commune with Dinosaurs. And just draw our lands normally. I guess I need to. And then, like, is it just, like, compass, mending? I guess it's compass. I guess it's just, like, mending and golos, because we just have to cut other cards. Let's trim a route. I want to leave one mending in. That card's just so cool. Man, Commune just finds Shifting Ceratops, though. Ugh. How am I supposed to cut stuff? Yeah, instant speed makes flame flame slash cost two more mana. Thank you, brother. Yeah, this has been a basically a two hour league. This deck, this is a slow, slow deck. Which I wasn't really expecting it to be this slow, TBH. But I can't put in Evolving Wilds because Evolving Wilds will be tapped next turn also if I want to Rejuvenator this next turn. Yeah, our, our match against Esper took a very long time. All right, so I guess I'm just going to go search for red mana, charge the blast zone here. See if our tech works. Boo. So 
so much for our super secret tech. Thanks, Yed. We need more lands. There's 30 in the deck. We need more. So the blast zone can take out these things. Right on top. It's not good. I should have just played the scape shift here and ha try to get them to counter the scape shift instead of the route. The route's kind of more valuable. Yeah. Yeah, you can find my playlist here on Spotify, exclamation point playlist. There you go. So it's out right there. Hey, the Gopo! Welcome back! Thanks for that resub there. Uh, no attacks. Our second subscriber of the day. Alright, looks like we're down to 12. No blocks. That was a lot of really good cards. Let's shuffle those back. Oh, we don't get to see him. I guess escape shift will shuffle him back. We don't need to sacrifice. Wait. Yes, I do need to sacrifice if we want to be able to double scape shift. In case they have one counter spell. So do I leave Arch of Arazka? Boom. Got there. All right, three and one. Now we're only three and one, and this has been two hours. <laughs> oh, this is a slow deck. Soul Tide Dreams is pretty slow, also.
Why well, Bombard? I guess because it's instant speed. I don't know. I, I didn't make the deck. Of course, you know, that's the donation deck part. I didn't make it, but yeah, I guess the instant speed is is more valuable than Lava Coil. I, I would think you'd want Lava Coil, but as we saw there that game, that instant speed was pretty important. Um, it definitely helped us out. We have to put a card back. But I like all these cards. I guess it's Scape Shift. Yeah, I guess we'll put Scape Shift back. <laughs> Boots here. Play two more land war elves. Three more land war elves. Just, just have four land war elves in hand. Darn. Nissa's triumph. Whoa. Oh, I guess that did say my turn, didn't it? Ugh. That one did say my turn. Uh, it's the third time I think I've missed this Evolving Wilds. Yeah, this Evolving Wilds is killing me. Oh my gosh. There's just no... There's just no stop. Uh, okay. I'm just so used to like clicking through combat and there's no combat. There's no stop for combat. And I'm just so used to that. This time it actually worked out for us, though. This actually was, like, the best thing to not use the Evolving Wilds there that turn. Because now I have, I have, like, you know, more... More tutus. So we actually played perfectly. Just like we thought. <laughs> All right, we got three, six, seven mana. Either start charging up this blast zone or play this crisis. Next turn, crisis is going to be drawing an extra card than what it is this turn, right? Yeah, it draws an extra card next turn. We'll just wait till next turn. Mending. Man, I wish I would have just cast the Krasis. Just drawn into these things. It's kind of what we want. <clears throat> so put four good spells at the bottom. So I'm going to Evolving Wilds instead of Epiphany. Nice to meet you. I love a friendly duel. Share in my strength. All right, so should I? Should I charge Blast Zone or should I just blow up these Llanowar Elves? I charge it. One, two. I want to put two counters on it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Three. Yeah, it looks like mono green proliferate. What's looking like? Mm hmm. 
<laughs> we'll do this together. Yeah, who? Zo this is, is. Didn't they make a, a video game about this? Ooze vs. Zombies? Wasn't that a thing? On card. You. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that's three. So I got six more. I had to get five with different names at least. So that's one. Uh, sure, you don't gain any life or whatever. Two, three, four. Five and six. All right, that's a lot of zombies. I don't know what they're gonna do with like that much mana. Did that thing Tough lessons. says like that all these things add mana? I don't I don't know, but I'm just gonna kill it. We have 48 zombies, so hopefully that's enough. There is much to learn. <laughs> Four mana make 84 power. <laughs> So many zombies. Ugh. I think I think we're okay against the mono green deck. We're just gonna run it back. See what happens. And we have Sin Christ with the gifted sub from Santa Boot. Thank you so much, Boot. Let's see. Let's keep this. <clears throat> All right, that is our third sub of the day. Getting towards that sub goal. All right, so if we draw an top land, we'll get to circuitous route this next turn. Nissa. Together, Nissa. we will prevail. Rise, my elemental friend. I don't even think the counters were on that thing before it was attacking. Let's leave those basics in there.
do want lands. Harness the elements. Oh, I guess yeah, I could I could bane fire the elf. I don't know. They they have like infinite mana anyway now, with the help with the you know, with Nissa, ley line everything. Oh no, Vivian. No one knows I was how this basically trying to save the bane fire to kill the Nissa. I don't know if that's realistic. The deck looks a lot meaner than what it did last round. Nissa kills my mending or my Golos. Or sorry, Vivian. I wish we had like a Star of Extinction in the sideboard. That'd be cool. Yeah, we should have some Star of Extinctions in the sideboard. Planeswalkers have definitely been the biggest thing that we've struggled with. Hmm. Yeah, I think they got me. This is their turn four. <laughs> it's looking like this. Now it's my turn four. Um, I have one gate right now. I know, Kitty, it's not looking good. Meet my newest friend. Nature's true power. Well, then. That's a good turn five. <sighs> exactly lethal. Alright, so killing mana creatures looks a little more important now after seeing the green ley line there. Let's get some sweepers in here, literally. Hmm. Alright, one commune. My favorite TV show? I would say... I would say my favorite TV show ever was White Collar. The USA show. It was very good and watching that, um, watching the character Neil Caffrey on there is where I started wearing dress shirts and ties. Cause I liked how he looked on the show. Alright, this temple's got to find green mana for us. That's not green mana. Feel like they're just a... Sweet. I was going to say, they're just a, a, a one color deck, so like Field of Ruin, you know, put the Field of Ruin back because it wasn't actually going to um, do anything else for us. Yeah, Matt Bomber is just great on there. I think I want to shuffle back Flame Sweep and Mending of Dominaria. So we'll get this thing. Mm 
Probably should have just sacrificed this on my upkeep. I only have one green mana, as far as scape shift is concerned. I really wasn't taking that into consideration, getting the, the next green mana. I, hey there. Let me know I wanted a different land for Field of the Dead here, but I guess I should have gotten self. another green mana. Alright, let's just draw a green source. That'd be nice. Balanced beasts are much more reliable than humans. Dang, their deck is mean. Krasis, our, our, our opponent has Leyline of Abundance, which which makes their mana creatures tap for two mana. Or tap for an additional mana. The wilds are my shield. So that's this is the card that you're missing when you're wondering what's going on. A little bit of sequencing they could have done better here. They could have ultimated both of their walkers this turn. They really didn't need to pick those things up. And ultimating Nyssa is just like incredible with these evolution sages also. Yeah, so even even like Blast Zone destroying the Nissa and the Vivian isn't you know obviously isn't saving us here. GG's. Alright, so planeswalkers were just a huge issue for us with this deck. I think that's that's the big thing. Yeah, green us getting like scape us having scape shift there doesn't really matter. Um, because of Vivian Ultimate, like both Vivian and Nissa Ultimate, you know, doesn't really matter how many uh, z zombies we'd have at that point with those two ultimates. So yeah, basically, I think the biggest hole of this deck are the Planeswalkers. Like we have, we don't have anything to, to interact with the Planeswalkers. I'd recommend having like some Star of Extinctions in here. Or, honestly, red, red just doesn't seem worth it. Like, the Banefire was, like, never anything that we needed to do or wanted to do. And Flame Sweep and Bard are just really weak. Cinder Vines isn't really that great either. If we're playing, like, a color like black instead, black has a, just better sweepers, has good Planeswalker removal, um... Kind of has everything. It doesn't have Banefire, you know, with, with black. We can probably still play a red land and Banefire if, if Banefire is actually necessary in the deck. It didn't seem like it was necessary, but if it is for some reason, could have that. But I, I feel like 
having black for actual planeswalker removal, whether it's Elder Spell or Noxious Grasp, um, or you know anything, you know you can have Contempt, Ritual of Soot, stuff like that too. Um, just other things. Maybe that's a better option here. Um, but Mending of Dominario is really cool. That was that was a pretty cool addition there. Um, Thaumatic Compass was pretty underwhelming. But, but there we go. Um, Teamer, Scape Shift. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.